Just another day, but this day is a little bit different. I'm uh, headed down to the desert for what I like to refer to as a 21 hour vacation. Just a quick little trip out, get away from Big Bear for a minute. And as you can see, not in the regular uh, ride, taking the, uh, taking the truck, taking Buford is his name. He's a uh, older uh, Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. And uh, he's a big boy, but that's good because uh, I use him properly for towing, for transporting a motorcycle. From the weather reports, it said that it's gonna be 70 degrees. Actually, it's currently 71 degrees down there in Lucerne Valley, Johnson Valley. Here, I'll show you where we're going. Pretty much down in that direction. Beautiful. Haven't seen uh, what the desert looks like in a little while. It's going to be beautiful, nice and warm. It's about 59 degrees right now. This uh, part of Highway 18 going down to Lucerne Valley is known to have bighorn sheep sightings uh, from time to time. I've seen them about three times uh, around pretty much in a about a half mile uh, range from uh, this area right here back up. And uh, I've been keeping my eye out and not seeing any today, unfortunately. During the time when there was a lot of snow, um, a few, uh, about a month and a half ago, there were a bunch of sightings, even as close to uh, right off the main road. I would normally see them just barely crossing, uh, running up into the hills or up in the hills if I happen to notice. Uh, their backsides are a little bit easier to notice. They're, uh, they got white rumps, um, and it was nice to be able to spot them just out of the corner of my eye. Like, oh my gosh! Turned off, had a person, perfect place to pull off, and uh, saw about eight at that time. And the time before, I saw about six, but I've uh, heard of uh, herds uh, being spotted out here as big as uh, a dozen or more. I can't remember the exact number, but there's definitely a dozen. All right, now we're uh, getting by uh, Mitsubishi, dropping back down out of the uh, National Forest, getting towards uh, Lucerne Valley, and it is now 63 degrees. How about that? This is the Mitsubishi Cement and Limestone Mine. It's been here for a long, long time. Was able to tour it once, and it was very fascinating. Even got to uh, see a, uh, a demolition in progress. That was very exciting. Oh wow, look at that. Now it's uh, 71 degrees. Just like uh, the forecast said, what do you know? About 73 degrees down here on Camp Rock Road, going out to the, uh, the Buttes as we uh, like to call them. Just shorten it up a little bit. Cougar Buttes is fun to say too, but we like to call it the Buttes. Should be there shortly. watering the desert.
minute, that's for sure. Alright, just came from that little dark knob right there. And uh, notice this cut in the earth. We're gonna go check it out. Here should be some diggings here. Just to say how recent it was. Looks like a lot of it is filled in. Okay, let's say all of it is filled in. That's a uh, basically a rat's nest at this point. Still pretty cool. Someone went to a lot of work to get it this deep. It's about 12 feet deep, maybe 15 feet deep if we count this extra part right here. Pretty cool. Well, even out here in the middle of nowhere, we're gonna find a balloon. Long, long, long distances and deposit themselves just about wherever they darn well please. Uh, this one's not gonna stay here. We'll take it home. Deposit it. Trash! Look at all this cool little desert junk out here. Uh, looks like a scary pumpkin face. <laughs> and wonder, I tell you. You just never know what you're going to find out here. Well, what do you know? This planet seems to have been here much longer than the first, but all the same. We'll take it to the trash. There's where we just came from. Up at the cross. And over the dig there. Looks like something else has uh, been out here. Probably a coyote. Looks a little bit too big of a track to be a kit fox. If I'm lucky tonight, I might get visited by another kit fox. They seem to uh, like to come out to the area that I am at, and they seem to like full moons. Well, who would just leave a perfectly good steel barrel out here? Except this is target practice. Another desert mystery. Speaking of desert mysteries, what do we got here? Another claim. Right. I like how it's uh, just written on soft aluminum. Looks like different quadrants that are claimed in this area. That's what we call them. I was going to walk up uh, a little farther to that barrel cactus that we see in the distance.
windy out here. It's a little bit of a sandstorm. I don't usually uh, see that out here. I mean, it's always dry and usually windy, but uh, this is dusting out the whole campground area. All right, let's go back up to Big Bear, see how it's looking up there. I don't think it's snowing, but I know it's really windy. Storms are brewing. Well, down paralleling Highway 18 on the way down to Lucerne Valley. It's been running this strong for weeks, actually. Now that the uh, temperatures are really soaring, yesterday was in the uh, low to mid 70s down in Lucerne Valley. And today, when I left, it was 42 degrees. So, uh, Things kind of shifted, but in the meantime, up in the mountains, we're having a lot of snow melt. It's good to see this creek running. You usually don't see it on most years. Hey everybody, back up here in Big Bear. Got up in time to do a quick snowshoe with my wife, Sydney. Hi, Sydney. <laughs> it was fun down in the desert. Thanks for coming with me. Uh, next episode, there's gonna be more Big Bear updates, more lake updates, because uh, the lake is now officially down into single digits. So check back soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.